Stop ramming me, you jerks. Oh, they did the corner. Oh, no, they didn't. They suck at it. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play 1001 Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into a more modern classic. We're going to be checking it out on both the Xbox and PS2. The game is called Mashed, and it is a top-down combat racing game. Once we get past the, like, seventh title screen. How many title screens are there? Jesus. Okay, here's the opening cinematic of Mashed. Mash sounds like some kind of game where you, like, punch someone in the face until, like, there's nothing left. <laughs> oh, God, that's so dark. Anyway, uh, this is a top-down vehicular combat racing game where you race in pink cars, hot pink cars. Um, you can see they have weapons attached to them. Um, and basically, the only way to lose is if you uh, fall too far behind that you end up off the screen. Which I thought was kind of interesting when I read that. I've never played this before, so I don't know if that's 100% accurate. But from what I've read, that's how you die in this game. Well, that, that car has a mortar system on it. It's awesome. Reminds me of, like, Vigilante 8. Um, but uh, if you do indeed die when you, when you go off the edge of the screen, that is awesome. Because that's like an old NES or, like, Super Nintendo game. Like, you don't see screen deaths in more modern games these days. I mean, I guess the Xbox, I mean, I don't know. Would you guys consider the Xbox or PS2 modern? Like in my head, it's still modern. In my head, once we got away from sprites, anything that has polygons is modern. And I would say the PS1 for me kind of like hugs the border between old and between retro and new where like it was the first to really do polygons. So I could give it a pass and say it's retro. But for me, when I say retro, I'm picturing the Super Nintendo era, Civilization 1, you know, like those are the kinds of like games that I played back in the, the era I would consider retro. I know everyone has a different definition of retro. So, you know, uh, but that's what I think. So I would think of this is not a retro game in my mind. It is more of a modern game. You can call it like a classically modern game, but it's it's not what I think of as sort of a, like a classic old school game. Anyway, rant over. Let's go ahead and start the world of Mashed. So we're playing it today on Xbox and PS2 for an interesting reason. So this game is, we can play a single player, but apparently it's best played uh, multiplayer, which is unfortunate that I'm going to be playing it alone today, but I think we can still get a good flavor for the game playing single player. Um, but it supports four players, and of course, the Xbox natively had four controller slots, so you could play four-player games easily on the Xbox. The PS2 did not, it only had two controller spots. So, you would think, okay, well you need a multi-tap to play on the PS2 four players. That is true, you could use a multi-tap, or you could just use two controllers, and what they did is they split up the controller, so one, uh, one player would get the left analog stick, and the d-pad and the other player would get the right analog stick and the buttons like i have never heard of that in my entire life and so i originally got the xbox version because we haven't played too many xbox games in a while i thought oh that'd be fun but then when i read that about the ps2 i'm like okay we gotta try that so uh, we're gonna try a multiplayer match on the ps2 where i control two cars using one controller and we'll watch the chaos and see but for right now let's check out uh, the single player mode um, and why don't we go with the Challenge Cup? Sure, why not? And I guess these are the different cars. So we can be the Red Devil, the Blue Jays, which is actually the baseball team in Toronto. And they have a baseball for an icon. I think we got to be that. Then we have the Green Flags, the Yellow Cougar Faces, also known as the Thundercats. Then we have Pink Cue Ball on Fire, Pink Ball for short. And we have uh, the, the Black Bleeding spade black spade so we're gonna go with the blue jays because uh i'm from toronto my name is jay the blue jays are actually a thing so i mean like what what other team could we be we're gonna go ahead and race on angel peak and we're going up against the red devils the devils ah! all right so we're we're totally gonna take them down though so uh yeah um as i say this game uh by the way the book says is better in multiplayer than single player and you know what that's that's fair enough i feel like there are um <laughs> i was like what color car am i Ugh, i'm the blue car like how stupid how stupid is that oh man we are we are icing this guy he he's done man i'm like so far ahead oh and i just win <laughs> so that's how you win it's kind of like uh, micro machines didn't micro machines do this as well oh shoot and i crashed into a wall and lost 
Okay, I'm pretty sure Micro Machines did this as well, where if you get too far behind, then uh, you would you would lose. Hey, the, the other car just stopped and like, let me catch up. That seemed very very cordial of him. Oh God. Oh no, we're we're really losing now. Okay, come on, go 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 go. What? There's got to be like a turbo button or something that he's using. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Ram him into the wall. Um, but yeah, so the book said this game is better enjoyed um, with friends. And I was thinking that actually, you know, like, there are a number of games, I think, that... Oh my god. <laughs> go! Okay, we have to hit go right at, the, right at the green. That's what I was doing wrong. I was just holding gas from the get-go. And that's why I kept losing to this guy. So we'll start winning now, guys. Oh my god, we almost lost. Oh my god. Get out of the way! Where, where are all the vehicle weapons, by the way? I want some weapons to, like, ice this guy. Hey -oh, We're doing a jump, because it's cool. The helicopter... There's, like, an Apache helicopter refereeing the match. Like, I guess if we don't do well enough, he just, like, totally, like, ices us both. He's like, oh, you just please me. Have a Tomahawk missile. One, go! Alright, there we go. Um, but there are a number of games, I think, that are kind of, like... We, if we if we tried to brainstorm, we could come up with a list of games. They're kind of like mediocre uh, single player, but like multiplayer, they're like really fun, you know. Um, and I was thinking about this a little bit before I sat down here today. One game that I can that I've always kind of thought is kind of like yeah, single player, but like multiplayer is like yeah, is uh, Bomberman. Bomberman. I like the Bomberman franchise, but uh, I've never really been motivated to like play them through single player. But multiplayer, they're actually just, they're just like loads of fun, right? Like you're just lobbing bombs at your friends, trying to kill each other. It's great. Um, so yeah, Bomberman, I think, is a good example of a game that single player is fine. It's not a bad game. It's certainly not a bad game. But uh, but multiplayer, that's, that's, that's where it's at, man. That's where people go to play Bomberman. So apparently this game, when you get into the multiplayer, gets, uh, gets, a, lo gets a lot... Lots more fun, um, which from this like one-on-one -on -one race, maybe you wouldn't think so. But I think I feel like this is like a tutorial mission or something. One, I just uh, if I if I can only beat this guy like two or three more times, I think we, we can finally get to like a real race, and then like they'll allow us weapons and stuff, and we'll have earned the right to use weapons. There we go. He only has two hit points left. Oh, and I messed that one up. So now he's gonna have three hit points. Oh, but he didn't get the bonus either. Oh, stay on the road. Stay on the road. Oh, God, we're all over the place. Okay, we caught up. Disaster averted. I, I'm really curious to see how this works when there's an actual race. Because, like, one-on-one, -on -one, it's just like if one guy gets ahead, he gets a point. Uh, there we go. I think I think I just won. Or almost won. Uh, but when there's an actual race, there's going to be, like, four players. We're going to have weapons. Like... It's not going to constantly reset every time one person gets too far behind. I think they'll just be done. The Blue Jay. Look, I literally said it was the Blue Jay. Huh. I, I wonder what the names of the other teams actually are. I guess it's like Black Spade would be a name and like, um, you know, Red Devil probably is a name. Um, but anyway, we will go ahead and continue. All right. Off to the temple. This is a one versus one. This is a battle game. Okay, so that was, what was this? Said battle game. Battle against one opponent. Power-ups included. Okay, that's what we wanted. All right, time to race some fools. Vehicular combat is really, like... I think I associate it with, like, Mario Kart. Like, in my mind, Mario Kart is, like, the prototypical vehicular combat game. But uh, there were there were other vehicular combat games back in the day. Um, RC Pro-Am was... Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Now, how do I shoot? Oh, we fired a missile at that guy. We blew him up with a missile. Yes. Oh, okay. So there's, I guess there's certain power-ups in, like, certain parts of, of the, the map. Oh, we went off the cliff! And he got a point. Oh, interesting. Okay, so every time everyone dies, that's when things, like, reset. Okay. So we just want to try, try and not die. Oh, he, we, like, knocked him off a cliff. Come on. Yes! Oh, ice him. Get this, get this, get this. Okay, we have a barrel attached to our car. No! We lost. Okay, so the, the game mechanic is very similar to the one-on-one -on -one race. It's just now with items, I guess. No, 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 no! We lost. Man, this is, this is actually not the game I, I thought it would be. 
Um, you know what it kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of, like, how PlayStation All-Stars was kind of like a weird riff off of Smash Brothers, because it had a really weird uh, mechanic when it came to, like, killing your opponent. This kind of feels like a really weird riff off Mario Kart, where it looks like a racing game where you have items, but really... Oh, my God. Okay. But really, it's not a racing game per se because the track keeps resetting every time like somebody screws up. So it's like there are items you can't kill people, but it's it's definitely not like what I would call a race. Very interesting. Winner is Melon. Um, but yeah, RC Pro Am was another racing game back in the day on the NES era, which is basically kind of like this, only you actually raced. So it was kind of like this, but it didn't reset every time somebody fell behind a battle game. What are these other games? Battle games, three race lap. That's what we want, a three race lap against the computer here. Let's go back. Let's go into single player. Let's do quick battle. We'll be the Blue Jays again. And this is a quick battle. Uh, choose a number of cars, set the difficulty. Okay. Power ups are chaos. Let's do that. Difficulty is the easiest it can be. We will be the hammerhead. Sure, game mode, one against all, all against all. Hmm, first eight points win, first 12 points. I want an actual race though. Okay, let's just be against everyone and uh, have fun with that. So chaotic on easy with power-ups everywhere. Let's just blow the snot at everybody. Go, and off to the races we go. We don't even need a power-up here. Oh, no, but we'll take one. We'll fire missiles at people. All right, we missed, and we're we're losing. <laughs> so do I really have to kill everyone? That seems a little unfair. Oh, I'm blue, right? I keep thinking I'm red. I don't know why, but red feels like a player one kind of color. All right, come on, die, fire! I think I destroyed myself, and green got a point. Okay. Go! Oh, I'm losing. Red's in my way. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> we're, we're gonna pretend that never happened. Quit the race. Yes, we do want to quit the race. How do we get to, like, an actual race? Challenge Cup. Maybe the Blue Jay is, like, a, is, is like a, a bad luck charm. Let's go ahead and change ourselves to the Red Devils here. So... Oh, three-lap race against the computer. Against your opponents. Totally what we want. There we go. All right, we're doing a race. Uh, hopefully it doesn't reset every five seconds now. This is what we want. We want to race in racing games. All right, three, two, one. Go! And we're losing already. We are. We're not doing very well. Okay, all right. So in this mode, if you fall behind, it doesn't reset the game. I actually, I was cu I, I kind of liked the idea of the screen death game mode. But once I kind of got to playing it, I didn't really like it. <laughs> I will say, I think that actually racing in this game is way better than the screen death stuff they were trying. I mean, I'm losing horribly. I'm really far behind. I have a weapon, and I, there's no one to shoot it at. But this is a little more like Mario Kart, where you're just kind of racing. And, uh, oh, look. These guys are shooting each other. Oh, we just won! Oh, no, gold won. <laughs> <laughs> we came in second. That's not too bad. Okay, continue. Uh, it doesn't count as pass, though. All right, let's try it one more time. And three, two, one, go! Okay, green is screwing us. Screwing us hard. Man, this is like the simplest track, and it's actually, like, pretty hard. So, yes, I think what would make this more fun with friends is the fact that, like, nobody would be very good at it. And then the, the fun comes from just the chaos that ensues of everyone, like, destroying each other. I do think that if you were playing with friends, I still think the race would be the better way to play. Because, again, to be honest, the mode where it's constantly resetting you every time somebody gets too far behind, I, it feels too interrupty. Like, I'm racing here. Oh, I'm, like, stuck on a wall. Okay, there we go. I'm racing here. I'm trying to race at least. And it's like resetting the game every five seconds. All right, we clearly lost that one too. Wow, I, I had high hopes for this one, man. I was like, I was looking forward to this. I thought it'd be different. I mean, it is different. Uh, I'm just, maybe it's me being absolutely terrible this game, but uh, this is, so far this is, is not very fun. Uh, let's go ahead and just try this again. Like maybe if we beat this, It'll unlock like a different 
zone or something and I don't know maybe it'll be better maybe we'll enjoy ourselves a bit more whatever the items the items are more of a distraction as long as you race well you don't really need them so you just kind of like race really far past these guys oh god and you eventually am I far enough past them yet oh for the love of god and now I'm gonna lose a point oh my god I was I was in I was leading them for like half the map, they just didn't happen to fall far enough behind. Ridiculous. Right, let's pass this fool here. I mean, the game looks kind of cool, like, like right now, right? But it's it's surprisingly hard to stay on the track. You green killed me, you bastard! And green got zero points. Oh, we both, me and green, both got zero because green sabotaged me. Gotcha. Well, at least they didn't take a point away from me. But yellow is probably clearly going to win this. Am I far enough away yet? Am I far enough away yet? <laughs> Just give me a point, man. There we go. We got to catch up to yellow, man. You can't let stinking yellow win. Uh, we got to make sure yellow dies a few times here. Oh, my God. Okay, as long as we don't die. Yeah, like, I was excited for items and stuff in this game, but, like, oh, my God. I went for an item there to cost me the game. <laughs> I'm freaking losing. Yeah, the items, uh, I've realized, if you can make them work, I guess they're good, but they kind of suck. Like, like, oh my god. Because the thing is, if you go out of your way to grab an item, you you might fall off a cliff, or you might, uh, you might just sort of fall behind a little, but in falling behind, you could actually just lose a point. So it's like, what's the point of the item? You might as well just get really good at racing, like I just did there, right? Like, there was no point in going for the items. Boom, go, and I did not accelerate off the mark. It's okay. Okay, we got it. Alright. My seatbelt's caught around my neck. Alright, I I've totally given up going for items, and I'm, like, doing better. I'm doing better now. I'm just focusing on the track. We're there you go. Oh, no, no, no! No, go back, go back, go back! Reverse! Reverse! No! <laughs> I had that. I just turned too far into the wall. At least I didn't lose a point. Okay, so it's me and yellow. Whoever gets the next two points wins. And I, I would be okay if green got a point, but not if yellow does. Yes, yellow died. All right, it's just between me and you now, green. I would appreciate it if you could die so I could have this point. Because I really need to get it ahead of yellow. Oh, God, go, 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 go. There we go. All right. Screen death green. This is like if somebody took the, the concept. Yes, yeah, shoot yellow. Shoot yellow. No, 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 no. Shoot yellow. Oh, no, don't shoot me, you jerk! You jerk! He doesn't want me to win. He knows. He knows! You bastard! Oh, wait. Two can play at this game. Kaboom! Oh, there we go. I think green's dead. It's just me and yellow grudge match. He's got a barrel on him. I don't know what the barrel does. As long as we can not die, I think we can erase him, son of a bitch! Oh, my God. Okay, we're one point away. Go! Um, but yeah, this game would be like if somebody took the idea of the waterfall level of Contra where you constantly screen death your your buddy and they turned it into a racing game. It's the screen death game. The winner is red. All right, auto saving. We want to save this awesome progress. Save successful. So red, melon, and gold. Those are the different characters, eh? All righty. Um, ooh, there we go, an ice level. Okay, so we did unlock something different. Battle game against a two-car team. Eh, no thank you. Free lap race. Yeah, the lap races are, like, actually not that interesting. Okay, go to battle game against three opponents. All right, we'll give it a shot. I'll try anything once. Eye candy is the car. Uh, they are giving you different cars. I don't know if the cars handle differently or, at all or anything, but, uh, yeah. Go! Wait, am I red? <laughs> I thought it was blue for a second. All right, off we go. Just trying to race. Not really worried about items. Oh, God. Oh. God, go! Oh, man, that was, a, that was a freebie right there. Like, everyone was, like, jammed into the wall and stopped. And I, um, I still almost failed. Oh, God, what's happening? That was unfair! Are you crazy? At least I got a point. No, wait, did I? Yeah, I did. I'm red. Did you see those other two cars? They teamed up on me, man. That was not cool. What color am I? Red? Okay. Don't you push me. 
Uh, where are we going? Where are we going? Where's the track? We're driving through a town. Where's the road? What, what are we driving up like a ski lodge or something? Okay. So in these higher levels, I guess there's. Oh, you bastard! I'm dead. All right. I think I think I took pink with me. Yeah. <clears throat> when there's more cars, it's actually surprisingly easier to get points because when you do come in first, you get like a bunch of points. Yeah, there you go. That's that's like the corner that none of the computers can do. As long as I, I can do that one corner, I can always rack up two points every lap. Oh my god, and I just lost. Oh, I lost two points! Oh god. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I guess if you had... Oh, what, am I just dead? Okay, I got one point there. I guess if you had some friends playing this, the chaos that would ensue would be kind of funny, but like... Yeah, definitely. This is not this is not a game meant for for single player. I mean, I guess you could get good at it and enjoy yourself. You bastards! They killed me again. At least it's not taking my points away when that happens. All right, here we go. This is this is Jay's territory. The corner that none of them can do is coming up. Stop ramming me, you jerks! Oh, they did the corner. Oh no, they didn't. They suck at it. Sucker! We won. We won somehow. Man, I, I'm winning by not even bothering with weapons. The weapons don't even matter. They don't even matter. All right, let's try. Uh, ooh, we got uh, we got a new train. Let's try this one more three lap race against three opponents. Sure. Let's try this. If if we beat it, we'll see if there's one more level. But if not, maybe we'll maybe this will be a short video today. Um, we do have to hop over to the PlayStation version and try the uh, dual controller thing. But I thought we were going to be able to have a lot more fun with this game. But like. I'm just finding this game is like kind of, it's not what I was expecting. Oh my god. All right, so, well, we lost there. <laughs> Dead last. Oh, it's a race. We get to keep going. Okay, we don't lose when we go off the screen. I was like, oh, we fell off the screen. We're, we're done, okay. You know what, let's go ahead and restart that. I have a feeling we're not gonna place in that one. Go. Yeah, all right, so here we go. There, we killed the blue guy. That is that is positive work going on right there, man. The the track is like really slidey, I guess because all the rain. I see those guys up there messing around. Oh, they both died. Oh, and so did I. So as long as you can like not die, I think that's the secret to like doing well in this game. Because eventually the computer does the computer does screw up. The computer's not infallible, which is nice. It's nice that they don't have like an AI that's just perfect. But I don't know how I'm going to catch this first place guy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get off my tail, buddy. Get off my tail. Get off my tail. They need, you know what they need is a blue turtle shell. So you can, like, catch the first place guy. I think I just used fire to, like, push him away from me. Like, I don't know what that is. I guess my car has mines or something. All right. The first place guy is gone. He's just gone. As soon as other cars are not around to mess with you, I guess it's very easy to do well in this game. Uh, okay. I am getting a hang of this track, though, so we could probably give this one more shot. Okay, he he is clearly gone. Okay, we're going to go ahead. There's no point in racing that, because if you don't get first, it doesn't count as anything. Go. All right. So the trick is to not die. Who knew? Who knew not dying? Just, just being perfectly adequate was all you needed to do reasonably well in this game. Okay, so as you get better at racing, I imagine it just gets easier to win by, by default as they kill each other. Uh, okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, I got I got an item. Get out of my way, dude! I feel like Blue really screwed me over there. Okay, so there's some guys. My car can shoot fire out of its butt now. I guess it's like a flamethrower if somebody's like on your tail. Okay. I do not see the other guys, though. Maybe, maybe I am not racing adequately enough. Go around the corner. All right. Well, um, I look forward to trying to control two cars at once on the PlayStation. How is that going to work? I have a feeling very badly. Very badly. But it could be interesting to... Oh, my God. There was the guy. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I give up. All right, let's check out the PlayStation version. All right, mashed on the PS2. Looks pretty similar to the Xbox. We're gonna go into multiplayer. We'll do standard play, I guess. 
Uh, share controllers. Two players share each controller. There you go. You can have two-player game with only one controller or three or four with two. We're going to do a one controller. Wow. Okay, so the, the D-pad moves the top controller. So the D-pad will be red, and the right thumbstick moves the left controller. Wow, this is so weird. And then... Oh, wait, the left thumbstick also moves the top controller. Okay, I don't know what the buttons are going to be. Let's go ahead and try it. Elite. No, I want... Uh, we're both on Rookie. And Angel Peak. Is there another level we can pick? Oh, we can pick whatever we want, eh? Oh, these are the only levels that exist. Okay. Well, let's try, uh, try a new level. Sure. Hold the Flag, Fugitive. Those sound like kind of like fun game modes. Um, but I guess they're not unlocked. Hold the Flag and Fugitive would be kind of like tag or like stuff like that. I, I could see that being fun. Um, oh, God. Power-ups. Whatever. Let's <laughs> just see how this goes. I don't even know how I'm going to do this. I don't think I have enough fingers to like use the controller properly. But like, I've never heard of sharing a PS2 controller. Two players on the same controller. That's bizarre. I've heard of like passing the controller back and forth. I think Worms does that. With one controller, you can play like eight players. And you just pass the controller around because each take turns. Never heard of simultaneously holding the controller. This is crazy. Okay, so A makes the blue car go. And the down on the D-pad makes the red car go. Okay, here we go. And then, oh my god, oh my god, my brain can't control this! Okay, reverse. <laughs> the blue car got a point. Okay, go! Okay, they both went. Okay, blue's on the wrong side. Now, okay, now we go. Oh, we're all over the road! Oh, okay, red lost! Oh my god, okay. I just gotta get them on the right sides, because, like, if the left thumbstick and the right thumbstick control the cars on the left or right respectively, then I can do it. Okay, so this, the blue car needs to come to this side. The red car needs to come like this. You should see the grip, guys. Oh God, there goes the red car. <laughs> I have the controller down on the table and I have my index fingers on each of the thumb pads and then my middle fingers on X or down on the D pad so I can accelerate. This is like so trippy though. Oh my God. I, you know what? I would love to see somebody whose brain has adapted to this who can actually do this. If there is a video online of someone who can play, someone who can play two cars at the same time on this game, oh god, we kind of did it for a little while. I would love to see that. I don't know if my brain could ever adapt to that. It's so trippy. I remember when me and my brother rented Smash TV from a video rental store, and we took it home, and that game basically had like a dual analog uh, controller. So it's like the D-pad moved your guy around and the X, B, A, Y button sort of shot in a direction. That was too funky for our brains to control. Like you had to think of two directions at, at the same time. Oh, look, the red card did pretty good there. Um, our brains couldn't control that. This is kind of like taking me back to that day when we rented Smash TV. And what happened is we, we couldn't, figure out the game like we knew what we were supposed to do but our brain just couldn't think in those terms and so what ended up happening uh was we returned the game to the video store said it didn't work in our super nintendo and they gave us a different game but uh man this this is this is like taking me back <laughs> oh oh we both died <laughs> so yeah i don't know um mash here's one of the games of the book a thousand of video games you must play before you die i think that if you were to try and play this game multiplayer with, with friends, you would probably have a better time with it. I think as a single player game, not only is this game like not that great, but I would even venture to say it's really not that good at all. Like, It's not only not great, it's probably not even that good. Um, but it is interesting to think about how some games really, uh, is, is single player affairs are kind of like not really that good. But then as multiplayer games, oh my god, we were almost doing it. As multiplayer games, they actually get quite a bit better. And yeah, so I don't know. If you have friends and you have this game, I would love to like hear what it was like or, you know, even share a video with me or something of like, <laughs> we're both like failing here. How do you reverse? Uh, bing and... Okay, so I've reversed with one car. Oh, they're just, they're, okay, let's just go off with this car, have the red one lose. But yeah, I would love to like see what this is like with multiple friends and like hear people like you know all on the mic like like shouting at each other and stuff and uh, that would be pretty sudden oh my god we're actually doing it 
Something has flipped in my brain. Holy crap, we, we almost did it there. Could almost hold it together. Um, also, you know another thing is, what are some other games that you guys can think of that are really good as, like, multiplayer games, but as, like, single games, single player games that are like, meh, so-so. Um, Bomberman is the one suggestion I can come up with. Again, not saying the single player is bad, but just multiplayer is so much more fun than single player. Um, I think a lot of people feel that way about first-person shooters, where, like, there's a lot of people who really like the multiplayer aspect. Hey, we won. <laughs> First-person shooters. But, like, the single-player campaigns, they're, like, just not interested in. So, um, so what are some other games that are really good as multiplayer? Um, let me know in the comments down below. This game, by the way, is in the book, A Thousand One Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. I definitely do not think it is a must-play if you're playing by yourself. Playing by a friend, TB, yet to be determined. Uh, TBD to be determined. Um, I would say that I could see this game being some fun with a friend, so if you are inclined at all to check it out, 100% do it with at least one friend. Um, I would, it, it's probably actually even more fun to share a controller. So four players on two PS2 controllers could be absolutely chaotic and could be actually really fun. So who knows, maybe this game is, is worth checking out, but in its single player form, it is definitely not a must play. Those are my thoughts and opinions on the game. What do you guys think of MASH here? Is it a game that you've heard of before? Is it a game you've played? Is it a game you've played shared controller mode on? If so, would love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, and of course, guys, whatever you think of my opinion of this game and the game today, hopefully today we've had fun together. If that is true, don't forget to like the video and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I will see you soon with yet another game in the ongoing quest to play through that book. 1001 video games you must play before you die. So until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves, and uh, don't warp your brains with any bizarre control schemes. And uh, peace. We won! We won somehow. Sucker!